Things on this channel are about to change. So those of you that know this channel know that I produce longer immersive films. The whole idea behind them is that you really get involved. You go on the journey with me and it takes a while to do that. You can't do that in a 13 minute film. It just doesn't work. But that sort of content is just not possible at the moment. How can I make that with the world the way it is at the moment? It's just not gonna happen. So things are gonna have to change because I have so many things I want to make and I am filming all the time. I'm going on like mini local adventures. I'm filming stuff that Tom does, all his new projects. We're actually building a business together at the moment. There's just so much going on. On top of the fact that you will already know if you've watched the Christmas special or you follow me on Instagram, we are having a baby. <laughs> Some massive life changes happening. So just in case you're new, my name is Charlie and as I've just said on this channel, I normally do longer, more immersive adventures. So if you need some escapism right now and some wanderlust, then go check out one of my videos from all over the place. There's Iceland, there's Morocco, there's the Dolomite. They're all big adventures, so grab a snack and get comfy and get involved. So the usual style of content on this channel that I've been creating so far is just going to have to change because I really want to continue to tell stories and have little adventures, but it's just not gonna work in the format that I've been doing it. I mean, who can even go on a big backpacking adventure at the moment? It's just, it's not really a thing. So, Things are going to change. Oh, goodness me, it's really warm in here. I got new studio lights and I'm kind of not used to it yet. <laughs> um, also, I really need to dye my hair. I haven't done it in forever. I really need to sort it out. My hairdresser's in England. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to find one over here. Also, you can't dye your hair when you're pregnant, so uh, I'm just kind of stuck with this mess for the moment. <laughs> um, anyway, where were we? However, the one thing that's not gonna change is the mission statement behind my channel. I have always prized myself on being real and raw and very honest. I remember way back, I think it was in 2015 when I was starting to research and thinking about starting a channel before I did my last lot of backpacking and everything out there was just GoPro montages of how amazing everything is. But what is interesting is that so many travel channels especially switch to the real raw except that they pretend they're doing real and raw but you know that they're not. It's just, they're just saying that and it's like, Really? <laughs> oh, anyway, I have so many films and ideas. Like, last year in my diary, I honestly have an entire, like, list and so many ideas that I write down. But I get way too in my head and b try and build everything into this big, epic story, which then takes forever, which then takes away from the consistency of my channel. And obviously by nature, I can't keep the bigger, longer uh, travel adventures consistent. I can't just produce one of those a week. It's not gonna happen. They take way too much time, way too much editing. There's a lot more that goes into one of these films than just a small 13 minute vlog. But, yeah. I literally hate shooting videos to camera. This is not what I do. What I do is travel adventures. I film whilst I'm going along, and I totally love that. I hate talking to camera, and I kind of, I don't know, I, I get too in my own head, and I want it to be too precise, and I really struggle with it. But I know I have to get better at it and just be a bit more relaxed about it. So I'm gonna practice. This is the year that I'm gonna be practicing that because everything is changing on this channel. And since this year, I really wanna focus on being much more consistent, mainly because I just love creating videos. I love telling little stories. I love going on little adventures and taking you guys along and just talking about relatable topics. Because so often, especially on my Instagram, you guys, if you don't follow my Instagram, you definitely need to follow that because it's way more up to date. And I also talk about things that just, you know, that are very relevant to me at the time. I might be feeling a certain thing and I then put that out there and the amount of responses I get from people is insane. So many people are always like, 
oh, I feel, I feel exactly the same way, or I completely get you, and, and then we have like the big discussions about it, and I totally love that, and I want this community to be more like that, which I can't do when I'm producing the longer kind of films. I'm not going to stop doing films like that, obviously, because I just, there's a, there's a magic about them, and I just love it. I love that, like, when you just, you watch something, and at the end of it, you just feel a little bit changed, you know, you feel a little bit different, you feel like you've actually been, like, you feel like you've actually had some proper escapism, like you were actually there just for a second, you know? And I totally love that magic, so I'm not going to stop doing that. There are some films I'm working on at the moment, I'm currently doing basically a second part to the retro series. If you haven't watched the first two parts of my big road trip around America with Trek America from back in 2008, then I'll put those in the description down below. It's very different travel because it was before Instagram, it was before social media, and then that trip actually led on to another trip. It was my first ever backpacking trip around Southeast Asia. It was my first proper kind of, I won't say solo because I guess I was with a couple of friends, but it was the first time that I wasn't on an organized tour. We just were completely winging it. We didn't really have any sort of plans. Um, and yeah, so I'm putting that one together as well at the moment. So that's going to be, I don't know how many parts that's going to be in, but that's definitely going to be one of my longer immersive adventures. So 2021 is definitely going to be a year I am focusing on being much more consistent on this channel. And I know I've said that before. I've even tried to do weekly vlogging before, but it, I just burnt out because yet again, I was making them epic. <laughs> there was just so much involved in them. And do you know what? I might even pull out some of my favorite bits from some of these little um, kind of behind the scenes or weekly vlogs that I did because there was important sections in them, but no one got to see them because it was on a, in a weekly vlog and you know, no one watches weekly vlogs retrospectively. It's not evergreen content. So goodness knows what I'm gonna do on this channel this year, but at least for the first half, before the baby arrives, I'm due at the end of April, so up until then, I'm gonna work as hard as I can on producing as many stories and just being much more consistent. And we will see what happens after that. I'm obviously not gonna be turning this channel into like a baby channel, that's not my plan in the slightest. If I was to do that, I would like start another channel or do something else. There will be a little bit of that sort of content because it's my journey and it's my story. <laughs> but do not worry, this is still gonna be adventures. It's just gonna be a little bit more lifestyle, I think, than it was before, mainly because of the situation. Do you know what's really frustrating? Is that everything was just about to take off. I had two massive trips planned. I haven't even told any of you guys about this because I was still in the paperwork phases of it, but I was doing a trip around New Zealand with a company. I was doing a trip around Japan with a company and obviously that all went out the window. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's very frustrating. And if I'm honest, I've definitely been having a bit of an identity crisis over the last year and not really knowing what to do with myself because my whole world has been travel and we had so many plans. Even when I came over here in last March, Tom and I were going to be setting up a business in Kakadu, we we're going to be doing tours, we're just, there are so many things that were happening and it just really threw me off and I, I guess I've just been stalling quite a while, just hoping things are gonna get better. But let's be honest, things will get better, but it's not gonna change drastically anytime soon. And I am getting very frustrated with how many things I wanna say and how many stories I have and not being able to do that. So I'm gonna try and be less perfectionist <laughs> about my videos, you know, making them immaculate with all the seamless cuts and transitions and you know all dropping in every single bit of b-roll because let's be honest consistency is much more important than making everything look amazing so 
that's my goal for this year. So that's basically what you can expect coming up on this channel. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It really supports me. It's totally free to do. Hit the like button, that also helps me out. If you are interested in getting some exclusive content, you can also sign up to my Patreon. Then you get to be a member of my private Instagram, which gives you loads more behind the scenes. And if you've not already watched my retro series, then go and check that out next. The uh, story is, we are now on uh, the platform in Thailand. We've just crossed the border and uh, the train drove off. So, that... with all our stuff. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. With our stuff. <laughs> We've come back on the train and all our stuff is gone. <laughs> <laughs> My hair's gone hideously green. Actual green. 